Welcome to the Hands-On Art Ceramic Painting Tutorial presented by Ambrosia. This is available in PDF format if that's easier for you to follow and will be available on our website and in the studio. We'll begin by gathering all of our materials. Then we will wipe off the surface with a wet sponge just to remove any dust. Then what we did was free handed some different sections on the mug where we felt it was appropriate to look like the pencil. Then what we did was use some really thin tape to actually create those nice crisp lines. The reason we use the tape is just because the measuring of the lines can be very difficult just by eyeing it. So if you use the tape and just pull it really tight, you should be getting a straight enough line. Then starting at the bottom of the handle, we start to add the little bit of the pencil markings where it would be shaved off. And then where every peak meets, we add a little dotted line going up. And then don't forget to add those lines also on the handle so that it matches when you paint it. We added the little two just to add a little fun detail, um, but that's optional. Then we begin by painting the inside of the mug first, just because we want that to fully dry before we can paint the outside so that we have something to grab onto um, once we get down to the bottom section. Go ahead and paint that top part that represents the eraser. And then we can go into the metal section that holds the eraser with a gray. And don't forget to kind of match that up with the handle as well. We want that to kind of sync up together nicely. If you mess up, don't worry, just let it dry and paint over the section that you didn't like how we did here. The nice thing about these paints is that they layer very nicely as long as they're dried. And remember, we want two to three coats of every single color throughout this process. Now we can move on to our yellow 24. And with a thin brush, I am just doing the outline of everything. And then with a thicker brush, I will fill all of that in. Now I'm not worried about covering those lines. All of those Sharpie lines will burn off in the kiln anyways. And we can always layer like we discussed before. Always remember to be constantly dipping your brush into new fresh paint whenever you're trying to do any sort of outlining. If there isn't enough paint on the brush or it dries out too quickly, it won't glide on how you expect it to. Once we have the section of the yellow filled in, we can move on to the wood part of the bottom portion so this will be a brown and again we're just doing a little liner brush first and then filling it in with a thicker brush now I decided to flip that mug over or you can put your hand inside the mug and use that as a grip going all along the edge there just trying to make sure it looks nice and crisp and then we will also paint the entire bottom of this mug that black color Okay, now onto the details. With our 23 orange, we will go ahead and add a little bit of lines all throughout where those scallops end so that we can add more of the texture of the pencil. And then we will go ahead and add in the lining of the number two. And remember to go slow, take your time, and if you need help from anybody in the studio, definitely feel free to ask. We are more than happy to help you if you need some extra assistance. Then as a final detail, I added Sparkle. So we actually have a clear sparkle that can layer on top of any color. Now if you do want it to be extremely sparkly, you'll want to do two to three co coats just like we do all the other colors. 
but don't worry if it looks weird because it does give it a little bit of a gray casting and it will distort the color when you're painting it but once it comes out of the kiln you won't even notice that color discoloration it will look correct and here you can see the final results i am so happy with how this turned out i am looking forward to seeing you guys do this in the studio